Warriors, what's going on? Super, super excited for today's episode because today I'm going to show you how I predicted the future with my blood sugars, of course. I'm going to walk through my 80-20 blood sugar formula, how I used it in my life to predict blood sugars in real time. All right, let's get into our theme song. I've spent the last 10 years pushing the limits while identifying trends and patterns in my type 1 diabetes management. Follow along as I learn, apply, and share the fitness, nutrition, and lifestyle strategies that I've learned from diabetes experts around the world. The real question is, how can we live fearlessly with diabetes while maintaining stable blood sugars? This podcast is here to give you the answer. My name is Matt Vandevecht, head coach and co-founder of FTF Warrior, and welcome to Part of My Pancreas. All right, so as some of you may know, those of you who follow my journey, last week I went in for a surgery. And uh, it's a surgery that I put off for quite a while, but it happened. All things went well. I'm still in recovery, but feeling better every single day. Uh, but the day before my surgery, so we spent last week in San Diego with my family and got to hang out a bunch. It was super nice. Built new memories, and uh, it's good to see everyone. And while we were down there, day before, I had breakfast, blood sugar went a little bit high. The nice thing about being in San Diego is that I got a high blood sugar walk buddy. That's right. My parents, they have this... Uh, adorable miniature schnauzer dog and uh, she loves going on high blood sugar walks with me so I call her up and I'm like hey let's go Misty you wanna go for a walk and she's like oh my gosh right like dogs love walks we're going on our walk we jog for a little bit try to catch the rise of the blood sugar I, I'm able to cap it kind of around that 200 range it comes right back down since I had quite a bit of insulin on board so just a quick reminder that you can use exercise as uh, an assist to bring down your blood sugars, especially if you have insulin on board. So that's a, a very common strategy that I use throughout my daily life. If I have a high blood sugar, I go for a walk, do some chores, do some form of activity, but that's for a different episode. On the walk, uh, blood sugars are coming down nicely. We head back home. As soon as I get back home, right, my sister texts my dad and I and says, hey, you guys wanna go surfing? <laughs> and I'm like, heck yeah. Let's go! And she's like, I checked the surf report, the waves aren't that great, but you know, why not get out in the water? And I haven't been in San Diego in a while, I haven't been surfing any even longer, so I was like, let's do it. I would love to. And uh, for context, this is my sister who has type 1 diabetes as well, so I'm like, yeah, let's go. Let's get some bonding time in, right? And uh, look at my blood sugars, they are coming down pretty quick. I'm like, alright, she's giving me about an hour notice. Let's see what happens with the blood sugar. Right? The insulin on board, it's circulating fast because of that walk, jog kind of thing. Blood sugars are now in range. Now I'm worried about should I have a snack? Am I going to go low? Right? Let's just see what happens. So I pack the car, get things going, and uh, meet her at the beach. By the time we get to the beach, I notice I have a very slow drop, but I'm in range. So I get there, I'm at like 115, uh, and then I'm 111, then 109. I'm like, okay, it's super slow drop. But we are headed out into the water, so let's think this through, right? She gets there, and I'm like, hey, how are your blood sugars? And she's like, a little bit low, and I'm like, what are they at? And she's like, 71. <laughs> I'm like, yo, we're about to go surfing, that's activity, you gotta be cautious. And she's like, I know, I already had a, uh, an apple sauce, and I, I'm drinking juice right now or something, I don't know. She had been snacking, so she was proactively taking care of it, right? Um, but I was like, you wanna split a little protein bar thing? And she was like, uh, all right, sure, like how many carbs are in it, right? And we're like talking back and forth about blood sugar strategies. And uh, I was like, it's 12 total, so we'll split it in half, we each take six, cool? And she was like, perfect. And I was like, it's got protein fats, it'll help stabilize because you've already had those fast-acting sugars. I geek out over this stuff, right? And she, she kind of geeks out, but it's kind of also just like, I'll just do what I have to do and let's go, right? So we split the protein bar and we take off. And I'm at 109, she's at 71. She's had a lot more sugar than I have because my only form of sugar was that six grams protein bar, six grams of carbs with proteins and fats. We head onto the water, we both, both disconnect our pumps. We took our sweet uh, sibling selfie before heading out surfing with our tandem pumps. And um, that'll be the, uh, the art of this, this cover episode video, whatever, you'll see the picture. Um, we head out, we have a great time, my dad's there with us, we're all catching waves. The waves aren't that great, 
right? Let's just be real. Uh, summer surf is typically not great in San Diego. Winter surf is where it's at. If you're ever trying to surf in San Diego, the waves are always bigger in the winter. Anyways, we get out there, having a blast, about 30 to 45 minutes in, I'm like, I gotta go, I got a meeting uh, for work that I gotta catch, and uh, you guys have fun, right? They stay out in the water for a little bit longer. I get into the car, I check my blood sugar, right? I'm like, let's see where I'm at. 90. <laughs> oh my goodness, are you kidding me? How perfect is that? Now, at first glance, you're like, okay, Matt, you clearly dropped, right? And what if you're still dropping? This could potentially be a dangerous situation, right? Because you, you've already dropped, that's 19 points, right? I'm like, okay, let's, let's get a look at the next reading, shall we? So we wait five minutes for Dexcom to update to its new reading, 89. Oh, ho, ho, baby, that's pretty stable, isn't it? Now, technically, yes, it is sort of dropping. It's one point. It's not really dropping. It's stable. 90, 89, blood sugars look excellent. Now, when I was out surfing, was I worried about going low? No. When I was out surfing, was I worried about going high? Not at all. When I was out surfing, did I have sugar with me just in case there was a fluke situation? Absolutely. Okay, so for surfing and for any activity, I highly recommend you carry sugar of some kind with you. So we get out towards the beach at the beginning, right? My sister's like, oh, look who's the prepared diabetic now. I have a bag full of sugar. And I was like, ah, and I showed her my wetsuit sleeve. I had tucked in uh, glucose tabs inside of a Ziploc bag in my sleeve. I was like, ah, I'm prepared too. And she's like, well, I have a glucagon pen in my bag. So I was like, fine, you win this round, right? But always be prepared in these activities. You have to be ready just in case something goes weird, right? Or maybe you get locked out of your car. Something can happen. Make sure you have sugar with you. Now, that being said, I was not worried about going low, not worried about going high, okay? I knew exactly where my blood sugars were going to end up. Now, there's a specific reason behind that, okay? I didn't always used to have this quote-unquote ability to predict blood sugars, and just so you know, it's not a superpower, it's an actual formula. It's actually a mathematical equation that I use. It's quite literally the most factual thing you can use. Uh, but beforehand, like years, years ago, I used to not care about my diabetes. I used to go surfing and just throw caution to the wind. Hopefully, I stay in range, but I'm probably going to go either low or high. Maybe I had too much snacks, maybe not enough. We'll see how this goes, right? And I, I lived happily, but I was not healthy. In most cases, and I say in most cases because I didn't wear a Dexcom at that point, I'm pretty positive that I was running super high, like 200s, 300s, maybe even 400s. I don't know because I didn't care back then. I didn't take care of myself. Then came a point in my life where I obsessed over blood sugars. Some of you are familiar with this story where I, for a period of two years, used myself as a lab rat, obsessed over every data point that my Dexcom gave me, controlled different variables, tried every diet that I could think of, tried different exercise regimen, and went nuts over what causes blood sugar variations, right? What causes our blood sugars to do what they do? Now, during that point in my life, I was healthy because blood sugars were near perfect, but I wasn't happy. And so I had to figure out this balance between I want to be happy and healthy but clearly I have to take care of myself first and then find happiness. So you have to be controlled with your blood sugars and then kind of let off on the gas pedal. But how do you do that without ignoring your diabetes? And that's where the formula comes into play. Okay, now we have our 80-20 blood sugar formula. This is what I coach in our programs in Diabetes in Action. This is the key to success as a type 1 diabetic. This is the one route you can take in order to achieve happiness and healthiness. To have your blood sugars run so close to automation that you're able to focus on living in the moment, like surfing. So we're out there, we're catching waves occasionally, the surf's not fantastic, but we're making the best of it, right? And it honestly just feels great to be in the water. It's, it's, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it's so relaxing. But being in the water, not having to worry about lows or highs, getting out of the water and being at a blood sugar that is essentially perfect. How do you do that? Right? I'm going to walk through briefly, I'm going to give you the, the 30,000 foot view of how I can do that time and time again with near certainty. And I say near certainty because there is no 
100% guarantee on these things, right? There will be off days that we experience. There are days where I still see high blood sugars and the occasional low, okay? It happens. But with near certainty, these formulas do work, and here is how. Experimentation. Now, experimentation is phase two. So we got three phases we're looking at. First phase is understanding. Most of you are already there. You watch or listen to my content. You understand that your diabetes takes work and that there are certain factors that affect it more than others, right? Carbs cause a rise. Insulin causes a drop. When you got to match things up to make it work. You understand a lot of what's going on. Phase two is experimentation to determine if it's true for you. This is where we determine our unique insulin to carb ratios, right? We figure out how exercises impact our blood sugars. And through these different levels of experimentation, you get tighter and tighter control over time. Now, within experimentation, there are so many different levels of detail that you can go to, right? I obsessed initially, so I went through every level of detail. It, it was nuts. It's a little bit embarrassing to think about. But it helped me to isolate my entire 80-20 blood sugar formula, and that's why I'm able to now coach others on how to use that as well. But you don't necessarily need to go into the depths of it. Just keep listening to me. I'll tell you about the pieces of the puzzle that you need to finish and make it all look good, right? So you understand how blood sugars are impacted. You experiment to determine if it's true for you and what your unique reactions are going to be, okay? Then you're able to predict. That's where it gets fun. If you understand how things are impacting you and you uniquely can test to determine if they're true, you're able to predict where your blood sugars are going to go, which enables you to live in the moment and enjoy life while you're living happy and healthy. Does that make sense? So what we're looking at here, I'm, just, I'm getting excited because this is, this is what I do every day. So within the experimentation and prediction in our programs, right, we go over those three phases. You have to understand what's going on. I walk you through how to safely experiment, okay, on basal bolus correction, on exercise, on different food types, on pre-boluses, on all sorts of stuff to dial in your unique 80-20 blood sugar formula, all right? Now, what I've done and what I used for this specific example was I tested exercise previously. I already had these numbers in my head. So surfing, that's, that falls into a more of an aerobic exercise for me, right? It's just constant paddling, relatively stable um, output. So it's a, what we call a steady state exercise, okay? About 30 to 45 minutes of surfing, I know based on my activity impact ratio, and this is a, an FTF warrior term, we use this in our program, okay? Our activity impact ratio is how much is this going to drop me or rise me or affect me in any way? And this is what we teach you in our frameworks. My activity impact ratio for aerobic activity, I see a 50 point drop. Now this is for me. This is for me, not you, okay? We are all unique. This is why we experiment, remember? So you experiment to find what your unique uh, activity impact ratio is. I found that mine, I drop about 50 points. So within that, within that activity, if I start at 109, remember the starting blood sugar? 109 minus 50, what are we looking at? It's about 60, 59, 60, right? That's not where I wanna be, especially if I'm out in the ocean. That's dangerous. So what did I do? I had a small snack. Now, within my other rounds of experimentation, I determined for myself, Again, this is me, you'll have to do your own experimentation or follow our guidelines in our programs. I know that one gram of carbohydrates raises me about five points, blood sugars. And that's, of course, milligram per deciliter, that's the US measurement, okay? So one gram of carbohydrates raises me about five points. So six grams of carbohydrates, what's six times five? 30. I know that six grams, that half of a protein bar that I ate, is likely to increase my blood sugars from 109 to 139. <laughs> now, you see this? The, the puzzle pieces are starting to come together, right? So my blood sugar at the beginning, going into surfing, 109. I had six grams of a protein snack, so it brings it up to 139 while I'm in the water and keeps it relatively stable, but because of the nature of that exercise, right? My activity impact ratio, I know I was gonna drop about 50 points. So now instead of 109, minus 50. It's 109 plus 30, which gives us 139 minus 50. What does that bring me to? <laughs> 90 slash 89. 89 is the exact number that I predicted I would end at. Why? 109 plus my snack, 
brings me to 139, minus my activity brings me down to 89. Because I understand my formula, because I know the external variables that we didn't even get to get into, right? Disconnected from the pump. Uh, I had some insulin on board. There were other factors that go into this, but you can start to see that there are mathematical equations that literally allow you to predict your blood sugars. And it is because of this that I can go into any activity, any exercise, any meal, anything in life with near perfect certainty that my blood sugars will cooperate if I follow the 80-20 blood sugar formula. Okay, so understand that no matter what you're trying to get to, A, consistency will always lead to consistency. If I completely threw the formula out the window and, and did not remain consistent in any of the aspects, it would be a bit more of a crapshoot, right? More difficult to predict. But B, if you understand what you're doing and what blood sugars respond to, and then experiment and determine what is true for you, then, of course, within our frameworks, you are able to predict using the 80-20 blood sugar formula. Now, the, the 80-20 blood sugar formula, that is only available in our program, Diabetes in Action, where I coach you. I walk you through an eight-week process, and we get you to a spot where you can do what I just did in my life and take it home with you for the rest of your life. Predict blood sugars before they happen so you're able to control them. You avoid the blood sugar roller coaster. You avoid lows and highs almost altogether. You're able to live your life happy and healthily and have this new peace of mind that you might not have been able to achieve before. It's a new level of living with type 1 diabetes. And that is what I want for you. That's why I do these things, why I put out episodes and videos and content, because I want you to understand what is truly possible with your type 1 diabetes. You can do whatever you want. You just have to know how to get there first, all right? So plan ahead, make sure that you're able to understand, then experiment, and then predict. And if you want to know how to do that in a safe manner and in the fastest manner possible, Go over to diabetesinaction.com. There's a free training I want you to watch there first. It's about an hour long. Highly recommend taking some notes, okay? You will learn some new stuff in there. And uh, within this, this training, this program, you will discover things that you never knew were possible. You will discover a new peace of mind, a new way of living, and unlock your greatest potential yet. So, if you want to learn about the 80-20 blood sugar formula, how to predict your blood sugars and control them so tightly that it feels second nature and allow you to focus more on living life in the moment, creating new memories and living an adventurous and spontaneous life, then head over to diabetesinaction.com right now. Seriously, you gotta stop procrastinating on yourself. You deserve better. Head to diabetesinaction.com right now. Enter your email, watch the training, and at the end of the training, you'll have an opportunity to hop on a call with me, okay? We'll see if it's the right fit for you, for us, and get you to the spots where you wanna be, get you those serious results, all right? So, last time, find that training, free training, at diabetesinaction.com. See you there, have an amazing rest of your day, and keep up the fight.